Okay, here's a little experiment that I'm going to try. Here's what I was worried about. This long adapter. I was worried that it would be off at the end. And I checked it and it's dead on. I don't have any problem with this one going in the headstock. But, check my short one and it's off. So I set it up this way because I don't have a big fancy uh, tool post grinder. So I got it set up on dead centers. I got a dog, dog plate, and I set it up on a uh, one of these blank number three Morris taper blanks. And uh, I'm going to try this set up here. I just got one of these air die grinders and uh, I don't know, I'm going to see how it, how it works. I'm going to see if I can take, I've got just a little bit, a little bit off on this taper right here, which throws it off a little bit. And I'm going to see if I can take it out. I may not be able to, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this up and then uh, I'll see what it does. I got to run this in reverse because the die grinder runs this way and I'm going to have to run the lathe that way so I'm going to have to run it in reverse. Anyway, I won't bore you with the rest of it, but I can see where it's got just a little high spot right in here. And then it's not hitting anything here. And it's hitting just a little bit right there on one side. So I'm going to go all the way through this back and forth and uh, I'm going to see if this uh, if this works so anyway that's the setup and uh, I'm sure there's plenty of guys that have already had this idea but uh, all you got to do is get one of these these are fairly cheap these little die grinders and uh, you can just mount it in your tool block and uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Then you don't need one of those big expensive uh, tool post grinder. So anyway, I'm going to give this a try and uh, I just thought I would uh, show that. Okay, I'm back and here's the rest of the story. I think I forgot to mention in order to get this set up, I got my taper attachment set up for a number 5 Morris taper angle. So anyway, that's how I get this. And uh, the little grinder works fine, but it would take you a long time going back and forth if you got to take a lot off. And I had to take uh, uh, about one, probably two thousandths 
So I took the grinder off and I put on uh, a good sharp carbide cutter, cranked her up to a high RPM, and I just skimmed over it one time and uh, that took off pretty much all I needed to take off and then uh, I went back put the little grinder on there and then I went over it and gave it a nice finish so you can't you know the bottom line is you can't take a lot off with that little setup right there but you can you can take a little bit off and uh, anyway here's what I've got if you can see it and that's good enough for me. It's got a little, little tiny bit of movement there, but I don't know. Close enough for me. So anyway, that is uh, the story on the little grinder. And uh, all you got to do is set it up on one of these tool holders pretty simple although I suppose anybody who's watching this already knows all this stuff so anyway time for me to get busy and shut this camera off this is a model of me in a couple of years <laughs>